Yo guys, what's up? It's T-Bot here. Today we're going to be doing a video on the next Clash Royale update and today Clash Royale actually announced what they're going to be putting in the next update of Clash Royale on March 23rd. So March 23rd is the confirmed release date of the next update and this is basically what they said. They released some notes on their website ClashRoyale.com. The first thing they said is Expo range decreased to 12 from 13. We want to open the Expo up to a little bit more counterplay. A range reduction will mean you can no longer position it behind a Tesla as well as across the river and still hit your opponent's tower. Next thing is that the Tesla hit speed decreased to 0.8 seconds from 0.7 seconds and lifetime decreased to 40 seconds from 60 seconds. It says the Tesla's use rates and win rates don't show it as being overpowered. However, another of core design principles is that all cards should have weaknesses and counters, whereas the Tesla doesn't clearly have any. A lower hit speed will reduce its DPS versus bigger targets significantly and also make it more vulnerable to groups of troops. So they want to just decrease, you know, they're just going to buff the Tesla and they think that it's overpowered, so they're going to decrease that. Also, the cannon's lifetime decreased to 30 seconds from 40 seconds. The cannon offers a bit too much defensive power and value for three elixir. A lower lifetime will reduce its staying power. Now, we've already talked about some defenses that are getting nerfed. Now, let's talk about some troops that are getting nerfed. The first troop that is getting nerfed is the Valkyrie. Her hit points have been decreased by 10%. When playing with tournament rule card levels, as a baseline, we think arrows should be able to take out the princess for an even elixir trade. This hit point reduction ensures that that's the case. Additionally, the princess has a very high use rate and could do with some added vulnerability overall. Um, so, I don't exactly know what the princess is like in battle just because I don't have it and I haven't unlocked it yet. Um, I'm still like a level 6 in the game and I still have a lot of cards to unlock so I look forward to using the princess and seeing how it works after this new update also the ice wizard damage increased by 5% the ice wizard's main strength is control but he could do with a little bit of extra damage to increase his value and make him more of a threat now the next troop that is getting nerfed is a really popular one and this one is going to be the prince charge speed decreased by 13 percent that's a very very big percentage the prince is currently the most used card in the game but despite very popular opinion he isn't overpowered when looking at his win rates however his ability to take down a tower on his own when left unchecked can be quite startling slowing down his charge speech speed a notch will give more time to react and counter um so we're going to see a lot less um like the prince able to take down buildings faster it's going to be a lot slower now and people are probably going to be pissed off because the prince isn't as good or won't be as good as he used to be and also the dark prince charge speed decreased by 13 percent basically it makes sense uh for both princes to ride uh the same breed of horse so therefore it makes perfect sense that they move at the same speed so I guess Supercell is right when you're thinking about technicalities, but now let's move on to the Valkyrie. Hit points and damage increased by 10%. So across the board for Clash of Clans and Clash Royale for the next updates, Valkyries are going to get buffed. So this actually makes perfect sense, and in both games, the Valkyries aren't used as much as the other troops or cards, and I think that Clash of Clans and Clash Royale needs more players that use Valkyries some more. The next troop that is getting buffed is going to be the Royal Giant, and it says damage increased by 20%. The Royal Giant's use rates and win rates are very low, showing that he is clearly underpowered. We want to give him significantly more damage instead of boosting his hit points, so he could fulfill his dreams of becoming a wreck wrecking ball, okay? And also the Giant decreased or increased by 5%, um, giving a, the Giant a bit more damage instead of hit points will make him a more compelling choice overall without making him any more potent on defense. Now next is the Rage and it says that the Rage can be an exciting and surprising card to see in action but it's currently not quite as strong enough to make the cut in most decks. So they're going to have a 40% attack speed boost from 35% and duration decreased by 20%. Um, so now let's move on to the Poison. Damage increased by 5%. Okay. Mirror legendary cards mirrored one level lower and also for the three Musketeers cost decreased to 9 from 10 and all of these have very long you know explanations so I'm just going to go ahead and skim over that archers quicker initial attack like spear goblins balloon hit points increased by five percent and which damage decreased or damage increased by five percent um so that pretty much wraps up all the cards that are going to be buffed and are also going to be nerfed um so if you guys enjoyed the video go ahead tell me down below in the comment section if you guys are looking forward to the new update in clash of clans and clash royale if you guys want free gems click the first link down in the description and i'll see you guys in the next one peace Love is all we'll ever trust, yeah No, I don't wanna waste what's left And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow